Hi, I'm Brian Eisenhower, and I'm sitting here with three absolute mega agents today um, who have generously donated their time to talk a little bit uh, about the concept of always looking for talent. So these guys, um, they run huge businesses, um, and there is no way that a single solo agent could ever handle the amount of production that these three gentlemen uh, do on an annual basis. Uh, just to give you an example of that, um, I've got sitting next to me Eric Craig, who um, is wrapping up 2015 with 34 million in sales volume. Next to him is Chip Glennon, whose team is going to close 220 units. And then Mr. Ron Henderson, who is tracking 125 units uh, for the year. So all of these gentlemen are selling at such a high rate. Um, these guys realize that they're only as good as their last hire. So they're always making sure every person they hire for their team is of the utmost quality uh, and it is a perfect fit for the role. So I thought we could elaborate a little bit about that and kind of chat about you know, wh where we are with our business now, um, what positions are we looking to fill, and how we're going about that and why. Sure. Well, the next hire, I'm always looking for talented people on my team. The next hire is probably a, um, a, a listing manager. Um, I've always been very heavy towards lead gen model, um, a lot of cold calling, a lot of, you know, hunting them down. And I, at this point, we've uh, decided that we need to go more into the marketing field. I've always been really light in marketing. And if we're going to do that, I need someone to handle all that marketing. So Elizabeth Gilbert, my operations manager, is um, very talented in that. Yeah, I just we, need we, somebody to take the load of the listing off of her so she can focus on um, all the marketing for the team. Right, and you've always been prospecting based, which means you've yep. been working the FISBOs, the expires, just listeds and whatnot, right. um, which has kept your costs remarkably low. Right. Um, but now we're at that production level where it seems like it's, it's more important to move into marketing. So yep. then we free that up on an administrative side. You can only make so many calls and marketing will hopefully bring us upwards of 200 here in a few years. Excellent. And Elizabeth was quite a quality hire too. She was just featured yep. on Inman News yep. uh, for her prowess. And Very the, uh, proud of her. Yeah, uh, which is which is amazing. So yep. I think she, she uh, deserves a little bit of help. Yep. So I'll give credit because I hired her. That's right. That's correct. <laughs> that's, that's all the, I did. <laughs> that, that's the way it works. Well, okay. So we're on the lookout for that listing manager so you can further expand. Yeah. Yeah. And I agree. At a certain point, a top producing team um, you go a long way with, with lead generation and prospecting, but then marketing does need to start, you know, start, you can start playing on the house's money a little bit. Right. Uh, and I think you're definitely, definitely at that place without a doubt. Chip, where are you looking for? You've got a big hire on the, I on do. the horizon. Yes, we are um, at the point where my team is now, there's enough people on the team. We have a, an immense amount of talent, really hard workers. Um, management has become a challenge in making sure that we're holding everybody accountable, paying attention to the results of the tracking, making the modifications and adjustments where necessary. Um, and that is a, a level, an area of expertise that I have to work really hard at while also staying in my 20% of, of uh, dollar productive things that, that, uh, that have gotten us where we are. To some extent, so finding somebody who has that management expertise and skill is really my next my next focus for hire. Right, you're in that position where you've got a team of you know administrative um, staff, inside sales agents like the telemarketer staff, and you've got the sales agents. Mm -hmm. um, and correct me if I'm wrong, but the, most of your day is pretty much just spent coaching these guys, holding them accountable. It really is, and uh, you know. I, I've become much better at it, but um, when you you know you're you're also growing the business and handling the marketing, and you know, there's just a point where you're pulled a little too far. And I think now the the accountability for the coaching of the team members is something that can be better than what it is. Okay, so if you bring in this general manager role mm -hmm. to hold everyone accountable to guide the team, so what will what will your role be on the team be? Pursue other interests that are complementary to what our team and our business is involved in. Um, new construction, the REO division is something that we've been very okay. successful in. Uh, development, auction properties, uh, okay. and then continuing to really con look for more sales talent as well as operational talent Perfect. to 
to expand our business. So you're looking for other pillars of your business. Correct. So that your 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 resale side is, is locked down and handled. Mm -hmm. So that person's gonna actually completely manage that. So you can add other pillars, other revenue streams in uh, affiliated real estate That's businesses. Right. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. That's perfect. By the book. Mr. Craig. Now you just made a huge hire. I did. Um, I think that starts tomorrow. Starts tomorrow. Yeah. Excited and about it. yeah, that is exciting. So uh, you hired the top closer, like an escrow closer or a title closer uh, in the county, mm -hmm. um, to be your administrative manager. Yeah, it's uh, somebody that I've worked with for 14 years since I've gotten started. So, um, you know, I've built a relationship with her and uh, over that period of time I've gained a lot of trust in her and looked for, you know, the right opportunity to find somebody that's going to be uh, more of a uh, team manager versus an assistant, so right, which is how I've been operating the last three years. Right. No, and I agree. And you you have reached such a high amount of volume to close thirty four million in a year, and you're almost exclusively referral based or, or based on your COI, the people you know. Correct. Um, so I can see the real importance to make sure this is an absolutely top hire. Um, because these are all people who know you. Right. Yeah, they're not going to forget you, so you want this person to represent you well. Exactly. And then your buyer's agent's kind of of a similar similar level of talent as well. Yeah, uh, my buyer's agent is someone who I've worked with for 10 years, and she was uh, a, the broker of uh, a real estate company that I was previously with before yeah. coming to Keller Williams. Yeah, so you've got to, okay, so imagine this. So many people will go out and hire um, someone who is young or new or just hire a person just to keep expenses down. And they think that, well, if I'm going to get a buyer's agent or I'm going to get an administrative person, it's going to be someone that I can afford to hire. Therefore, I need someone who's very hungry. Right. Whereas Eric believes in top talent. He actually has the broker manager of a real estate company and the top closer in the county. I mean, that, you've got to have some influence to actually right. command the, those type of hires. Well, well, Eric, Eric only wants to do it one time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've had a couple, two, I've had two assistants. Uh, my last assistant was, was great. It's just um, last year uh, I closed $20 million. Um, We're currently at 24 and it was pretty obvious that it was hard to keep up. So it was either I needed to hire another assistant to come in and train or just to go after that talent, and I felt that it was the right time to do that. Agreed, agreed. So my buyer's agent, you know, she, this is her first year um, in, in basically in the business of selling real estate, not being a broker, and uh, she's closed eight million uh, year to date so far in the, her first year, you know, selling just real estate. Phenomenal. So, so yeah, that's so just de yes. definitely talented. So. so she's moving towards 10, 12 million as a buyer's agent. So it's, it's strange how you guys are all talking about hiring managers. I mean, so many people talk about hiring assistants, buyer's assistants, uh, administrative assistants, where you're talking about hiring leaders. And I think that is the quality, that is the true definition of a true leader, is someone that can actually attract, recruit, train, and lead leaders right. on your team. And if you can establish that, the sky's the limit on what you can do and what, where you can go next. Well, I've told you before that Elizabeth did all of the hiring for our transaction coordinator, Courtney. I, I literally, she went through Recruit Select. Oh, I met her before her. you did. Yeah, and you met yeah. her before I did. Yeah. And I, I stepped in for 15 minutes and gave her the bigger vision of the company, and that's all I did, and it's done. approved salary, and that was it. So... Phenomenal. Guys, thanks so much for your time here. I think this is one of the most important topics we have for top producing agents. So we really appreciate you spending with us. Absolutely. Thanks, Brian. Yep. All right.